Uh, hi everybody. Um, sorry if I look a bit knackered. I'm really tired today. Um, I'm doing a video now. It's just before tea, but we've just come out of our recovery group um, meeting. And something happened which I didn't expect to happen. Um, the nurse who was leading the group was just talking to us about the previous week when we'd had a lady come in, a recovered lady who came in and told us about her experience. And there were some things that she said that um, I took away and they really helped me this past weekend just gone. Um, but the weekend before that, which did not go well at all, um, um, I talked about and the nurse said, oh, well, what happened the weekend that was really bad, if you don't mind me asking? And um, basically, uh, I'm having problems talking about it now, but... Um, I don't really know if I want to say it, but I'm going to have to. Basically, indulged in a behaviour that I um, did prior to coming into treatment, um, which I don't really want to say, uh, but I'm hoping you can guess what that is. And um, when I came back off leave, the Monday, Tuesday, um, I had the most ferocious headache that I could not shift. And I basically told the group, there's eight, eight patients and two nurses, and I thought, oh God, I shouldn't have mentioned that. It's too much information. I might have upset somebody. And for the rest of the hour, I had my head in my hands. I couldn't even look at anyone. And um, towards the end of the group, you know, um, the nurse said, Harry, are you okay? You don't look very happy. And I said, no, I'm not actually. I, feel, I felt like I should not have divulged what I did because it's not helpful. Even though part of me thought that it might be because if somebody else is doing that, then, you know, there's hope that you know you can get over it because this past weekend just gone I found myself in a very similar circumstance to the weekend before and I used it as like my opportunity to go okay Harriet now's your chance to prove that you don't have to do that anymore and you can get through a weekend fine and yeah it was a struggle and it was hard um, but I did it and came out after my leave my weight hadn't dropped um, I felt better I didn't have a headache so all in all what I did the previous weekend, although it was extremely upsetting and awful, it needed to happen for me to remember why that is no good anymore and it doesn't serve any kind of purpose. Um, it doesn't help me in any way, it makes me upset, it makes me physically unwell. Um, so quite a, a very intense day to be quite honest and I'm looking forward to getting some sleep tonight. <laughs> and having a shower and just relaxing. So um, I'm about to go in for tea anyway. But up until that, the day has been really good. We've had a really good laugh on the ward and uh, generally still feeling pretty upbeat. So um, yeah, so I thought I'd just let you know that, um, you know, shit does happen and it's about how you can overcome that. And this weekend that I've just had gone, um, I'm using now as like a benchmark of this is how my weekend should be. If I ever find myself alone, um, on my own, there's no need to behave in certain ways. There, there is other alternatives, going for a walk, reading a book, watching a film, you know, and yeah, every, you know, 99% of my leaves have been, have been fine. They have been a struggle, don't get me wrong, leave is hard, leave is very hard. Sticking to routines, sticking to your food plan, not d indulging in any behaviours, not restricting, not doing, you know, anything that is seen to be unhelpful. It's very hard. And that's where the, the work lies when I come on my leave. It's exceptionally difficult. Um, not all day, every day, not every minute of every hour, but there are times when I think, good God, this is awful, what have I done? Um, but at the end of the day, I'm feeling and looking a lot better. Not right now. <laughs> I look like crap right now. But, you know, um, <laughs> can't look brilliant all the time. So, yeah, um, so I'll leave it there. So, a mixed day, but a productive one nonetheless. And good things have come of it, whether they seemed at the time or not. So, I uh, hope you have a very good evening, and I will speak to you potentially tomorrow. Alright, bye.